All right, so today we're going to do a bit of a regain. Because this character lost everything in the last match. And I want to use pretty much still the most underrated way to regain in DMZ. And as you guys know, in DMZ Season 6, regaining has kind of got a hit. Because active combat zones are gone. So no more infinite amount of cash, basically. And no more orange crates everywhere. So today we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. And of course, that is using the chemist, which is located pretty far from us. But we'll take a vehicle and get there. As you guys know, the chemist will always drop... An advanced UAV, which, by the way, costs $200,000 right now. So, that's a huge win if you get it from the chemist for free. You get a medic vest, which is a level 3 special vest. And you also get a lot of orange crates that spawn around him. So, you could definitely get some more cell revives. You could get some, uh, some bigger backpacks and all that kind of good stuff. So, we're going to make our way towards there. And hopefully... We're not going to encounter any players, but you always have to be with the guard up because TMZ is quite PvP focused at the moment, as you guys know. Which is okay. It's understandable. There's no reward for being friendly. And uh, going for PvP will just guarantee you that you're safe, basically. I would rather kill what's wrong me to do my mission than just try to be friendly with someone that... Is definitely gonna shoot at me. So yeah, being friendly, it's not really an option anymore. You still find friendly people, but they're super rare right now. As you guys see, I have a self-revive with me. As I completed the self-revive upgrade, which is definitely one of the best for solo players. Alongside with the fast x fill. I feel like a lot more upgrades like this should be in the game. But who knows, maybe Modern Warfare 3 is gonna bring some bigger changes to DMZ. It definitely needs them. And I do have a weapon with me as well. I got a Geist. Which is a weapon I didn't really enjoy. I picked it up a few times from the floor, but... Wasn't that great. But after upgrading it a bit... Uh, it's actually a decent weapon for close to medium range. Okay, these are bots. We are almost there. Fortunately, we don't have a gas mask. But hopefully one of the bots in the radiation zone is gonna... It's gonna give us one. You could definitely do this without weapons as well. Just take a throwing knife, take one of the guns from the from the bots, and go to work. The chemist doesn't require too many too many shots to go down, especially if you manage to hit headshots. Okay, we have a UAV quite close by. That's a lot of the bots dead. Take some gas masks. I like to stow them a bit. Just in case I need them. And as I said, this chemist spawns a lot of orange crates as well. Which are really good. Find the bigger backpacks and such. There you go, that's a medium bag and some cash. Alright, let's see where this guy is. Usually he's on the other side. Let's make our way towards there. There's gonna be some bots around here. This thing has a slow fire rate, but it really packs a punch. Look at that, a precision airstrike. I really don't like the recoil of this gun still. That's a kill streak that you get for free. And it literally costs like, what, $30,000 or something? So that's a pretty good deal to me. Okay, I'm gonna take one of these SMGs. Okay, the chemist should be super close. There is. I think I just spotted him. Should not go on. Armor is almost broken. Use another gas mask. I do have the throwing knives. Which I will try to use on him. I'm gonna stow another one of these. Just to be sure. There he is. There you go. He's already dead. 
Look at that. So you get a normal three plate. I want to take that. I want to play it up. Let me use this gas gas mask. There's more red crates around here. A lot of plates in this area as well. Fortunately, no big backpack, but there's still more locations to, to check. There should also be the advanced UAV. There it is. And the M13B as well, in case you haven't unlocked it yet. This guy still drops it. Imera. I'm actually not gonna take that one. Okay, let's use this. I'm actually gonna take that one. This is full. More plates. Even more plates. I'm gonna stole uh, another one of these gas masks. Because there's some more buildings over here. But yeah, guys. That was actually pretty fast to get a special vest. Advanced UAV, precision airstrike, bomb drone, medium bag, and a gold skull. And we also have 17k extra. As I did infill with 10k. So yeah, not a bad run. Not a bad run. This is still... Pretty much the most underrated way to regain in DMZ. Literally. I love using this method. It's a DMR. Yeah, unfortunately there's no big backpacks in here, but... I just need a bit of extra cash and I can just buy one. Now let's get out of this zone. I want to put this mask on now. Drop this one. And... Unfortunately, I do not have a sniper. But you know, it's pretty easy to get one. And all you have to do is go through Big Skyscraper. So, right there. And there's also an AR right there. So, you basically get two fully attached weapons for free every time. Unless someone else picks them up, of course. And you get an SPX. And a TAC-56. Which are two very good guns. SPX unfortunately has kind of a small, uh, like a small skull, but it works pretty well. Okay, should I just risk it without the advanced? I feel like I should. All right. You don't have to go to all the way to the top. Just on this corner right here. But as I said, hopefully there's going to be no one around. Alright, so it should be just here. There's the Tank 56, but apparently they do the SPX. <laughs> Which is a bit unfortunate, but... You know, not a big deal. We're just not going to get a sniper this time. Okay, let's check the area a bit. Seems to be pretty safe. And honestly, I've done my regen, so I don't... I don't want to spend too much time here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the buy station. Let me check upstairs to see if anyone's looking. And I'm going to try to upgrade this SMG a tiny bit. Put in a suppressor, put in the big mag, the big barrel, and I'm also going to put in an optic. And I'm going to upgrade this M13B as well. So this, I'm going to drop this, and I'm going to put in the Harbinger, drop this, and put in a laser. Actually, didn't change my thing. There we go. We have two fully equipped guns. I'm going to sell this uh, gold skull, because I don't really use it. Get some extra plates, and... I guess I'm just gonna go do that contract right now. There's a big fight happening at the police station. As I told you, I don't want to be involved in that. I don't want to take part in any PvP right now. I'm just gonna take my GMC. And get out of here. I'm trying to be as friendly as I can this raid. Of course, you can only be friendly until a certain point. People are going to shoot at you. Well, you kind of have to take shots back. I really feel like this bunch should shoot at you. Based on the PvP actions. 
because I haven't done any PvP actions. This should be a bit more chill, in my opinion. But you know, you never get what you what you want in DMC. That's basically a rule with this game. That's one bot down. Man, these bots are mental. Level 3s are really crazy in this game. Get up. I hate when the hostage is just here. Because there are multiple entrances and I never find which one it is. There we go. I got you, buddy. Here we go. Play it up fully. I'm gonna put this on. Pick this guy up. Go to my vehicle. That's a nice M4 as well. Whoops. Sorry, buddy. Okay, the x field chopper is not too far away. Alright, so now let's just get out of here. That was pretty easy, not gonna lie. For EU servers.